Welcome back to the channel, guys. Thank you all. Thank you for all the new subscribers. Um, man, I was making this video, or yesterday I was thinking, I said, I got to you know, make a video uh, today. And uh, I was thinking about, I was going to say thank you for hitting 10,000 subscribers. Um, guys, I really, honestly, goodness, you know, I felt like I could maybe do the a couple of hundred in the hopes of getting a thousand uh, to get monetized and, you know, get going in the YouTube world. But 10,000 to me just, you know, looked like a million. And now here we are uh, a day after 10,000, we're at 11,000. And so thank you who all took the time to, dis to subscribe to my channels. I hope you hang in there and hopefully we can give you some good content and I don't want to forget and I try and I think the guys the folks that watch the channel uh, they they know I, I don't try not to forget who's been with me the whole time and uh, I try to answer most of the comments I can I right now I keep up with them and and guys if it ever gets a, a time where there's more comments than I can really type back we're going to figure out something to let you guys know that at least i read the comments because I, I think you can read uh you know say you had a thousand comments I, I think you can read a thousand comments you may not be able to type back to all of them and answer something specific to all of them but maybe maybe you could just type back a thumbs up which would mean you read it because not all comments especially if it's something terrible that somebody's telling you about, you don't want to put a heart on it because the heart lets you know you read it. And so I was thinking maybe we'd do a thumbs up or we'll figure out something to let you know that that I read your comment. But man, I don't think we gotta worry about that right now. But I am excited and happy and thankful. Uh thank you for all you that have subscribed. And we're gonna do something. We'll talk a little bit about that more in a minute. Um it's wanting to sprinkle a little bit, but it's not that hard yet. So I wanted to show you a little update on the garden, so you show you where it's at. Kind of a, uh, it's not mid-season yet. Kind of a, you know, after the first, second cultivating a little bit of fertilizer, we need some rain. Uh, if it didn't, I think it's going to rain today and tomorrow. But if it didn't rain, I was geared up to start, you know, watering the garden. Because uh, I haven't done that much with the tractor. Number one, um, it, the grass is really not coming in on it too much. And I didn't want to work too much moisture out of it. And so I haven't really done that much with the tractor. But if it rains today and tomorrow, we'll have some real nice cultivating. And, and, and some of the corn may even get, in, get to be where we're putting some nitrogen down, getting ready for lay-by on it. But with that said, let's go look at the garden. If you're new, which a good chance you might be new to the channel, the first little garden here is some Jimmy Red corn. It's an old corn. When I say old, oh yeah, guys, let me say this because somebody probably noticed it. I, that's my band-aids. I, I just use electrical tape. I cut my finger yesterday and I, I just put electrical tape on it. But Jimmy Red is a corn. It's an older corn. Um, I don't like wearing this name out, but the only way I know how to say it is it's a non-GMO, meaning that, you know, it's not been modified for Roundup and different things and what have you. But I hear it's great for grits, cornmeal, feeding your cows, everything. That's what this little patch is here, and, and you guys can see. And, yeah, it wouldn't hurt if I came through and, like right here, if I came through and covered up some of that grass coming in the middles there and you can see we got a little bit of moisture down in the soil here it's not completely dry but it would uh it would help if it had a little more but this is what we planted in may yeah after may it may have been, i don't might have to look at the date when i planted it but it just came up good it just reacted better to the weather not to mention that right now we we got some pretty cold weather going on right now. I think it's, I don't know if I can see it on my watch. Yeah, 61 degrees. And so it's pretty cool now. So that's our Jimmy Red. Over here is our vegetable garden. 
and we'll uh we'll walk through it a little bit but first we got to kill the power to it of course we could make sammy <clears throat> we could make sammy walk across the fence on it that'd be funny <laughs> i haven't been out here this morning and i do sammy you come on right through here i do like looking down through there and making sure that i don't see no strings down so so far so good the only thing i've seen is this little bit right here and if you notice there are no deer tracks but we do have some beans nubbed off here and a corn leaf so what i got figured there is that little section there was a was a rabbit probably that would be my guess and i'm not other than other than hunting them i'm not equipped to deal with rabbits with this fence so they they don't haven't normally been a big big deal to me but uh we'll hopefully they won't be too much damage but so here's the these three rolls here are the uh green beans they're the roma two is the variety i i, I can't sometimes i can't remember these things but roma two basically they're going to make flat beans we like flat beans. Uh, I was watching a, about green beans the other day. Danny at Deep South was talking about, you know, if you let them go to seed, which he's right. If they start forming a seed, they, they lose a whole lot of their tenderness. And he's exactly right on it. But I, I thought it was funny to me because I, <laughs> I'm bad for picking overripe beans that have beans in the pod and putting them in the snap beans because I like having a bean in there and uh but it's pretty funny but he's got some good looking beans these beans here uh these are lima beans and oh yes guys there is corn scattered out through here as you can see it's just it's just it's kind of one of those deals where you know this was where the jimmy red was the crows got into it so i said okay well you know since i'm putting this electric fence up let me move the jimmy red out bring the green beans over with what I need to protect the electric fence with, which is the sweet potatoes and everything else, and just put all the vegetable garden under the electric fence. Well, I cultivated, I mean, I tore the rolls up, just relisted them and knocked them back down and planted the beans. Those little boogers made it. I figured since they made it, we'll leave them. So yeah, it's gonna have some Jimmy Red scattered throughout the beans, but I think it'll be okay. These are the small lima beans I think Sammy just showed here. And you can see they're, they're greening on up. I haven't done anything to them. I haven't put any type of fertilizer on them yet. I thought I would look and get me something, maybe like a 3, like a 324, 24 and put on them here. Probably next time I cultivate, I thought I'd do that. These are the large lima beans. And Sammy just kind of go right up through that roll there and let them see that that's the large lima beans that we bought from food line and uh yes i said food line grocery store it was some name brand that i felt like i could plant again uh, because it's saying non-gmo on the package and we did and that's what we come up with and they, they're kind of something too boy they uh i guess that plant lives a little while off of that bean half and then it starts taking on and putting on other leaves i think we'll have a good crop of that now the okra the last time i showed you guys this section right here had not come up that great and now we got okra we got a whole solid roll of okra no we're, we're no problem on okra and so that hole rolls in okra and then actually 20 feet of this bean roll right here is in okra too. So cucumbers are looking as good as they can look at this stage. They're, uh, they all came up. Of course, I, I can't really, to me, I, re I really can't claim a victory on the cucumbers and squash coming up because you know we planted them by hand with a hoe and when you plant something by hand you're gonna have you well, you should have the depth right 
and the spacing right and everything else that mechanical wise is kind of you know you got to make your best effort at it i'm trying not to get too far down in front of this guys because i don't i didn't unplug the alarm yet but um so yeah the, the okra and the squash i said okra cucumbers and the squash perfectly fine tomatoes are looking real well think we're going to do a rope method this year we'll do a video on that um, I'm gonna try to I don't have but about six metal poles so you know we'll put one on the end one here one there one there one there and then we'll put a few wooden sticks in between it and we're just gonna do the rope method I got a buddy of mine at church Charles is gonna show me how to weave that thing to get them to stand up and be able to come back later and run another thing so we're, we're not gonna do the cages this year it hadn't worked out real good and cages seem to fall over so we're going to do a rope method sweet potatoes they're starting to get a little vine on them you can see this one right here it's vining on up they're eventually probably going to fall to the ground and start running the ground hard my plan is and i know you guys say well joy you got your tomatoes over here sweet potatoes right here what's going to happen i'm going to try to direct those vines back this way um because the potatoes will be gone the cabbage will be playing out uh, i got a couple of peppers right there not a real big deal we can let the vines so we're going to try to direct the vines this way to keep clear of the tomatoes here oh it wasn't hooked up hmm. did you unhook it yesterday yeah i did Golly, boy. That was my fault. You better be glad the electric fence was up there. All right, let's see. Since the alarm went on, we'll come on down through here. Um, I might can get in here and cultivate these potatoes one more time. I'm not sure if I will or not. But garlic over there. And I was going to show you guys something. I don't right for remember what it was. Oh, these pepper plants. Uh-oh. That was the little bitty one I planted. There, there's bell peppers and Sammy, let's see what's going on down here. trying to figure out why that why that's laying that way I, I i was actually looking for a deer track to see if a deer had hit it but i don't think it did so our squash are coming on they're starting to leaf out a little bit too uh, they're a little bit faster growing i assume than the cucumbers because cucumbers ain't quite as far as that but that'll be that'll be fine there that'll be real good um what we got here Ellie finds arrowheads in this garden all the time, so I'm always looking to see if I can find some. <laughs> and then, of course, we got the okra here, which, to be honest, which we hadn't had, we hadn't had some weather for the okra. Just like right now, 61 degrees, and I think the high tomorrow here is 63, and uh, so it's it's kind of hard on it. But hopefully, she'll come along. We'll go back up here. Let's give the goaties a treat. We, uh, I'm gonna cut one of these off. If I can. You know what, guys? I probably better just trying to pull it out of the ground. There we go. All right, we'll take that to the goats in a little bit. But what I thought we might do curiosity is getting me i want i want to see a carrot guys i want to pull one up i don't really know i'm embarrassed to say this but you know i didn't raise i've never raised any carrots i really don't know how you tell if they're ready or not y'all have to leave a comment and let me know how i tell when they're ready all right Seem like I see one in there, so let's do this. 
let's loosen the ground up a little bit which yeah I see it there well I'll eat it oh <laughs> now we're really gonna have to dig Still broke. Got it out, finally. Look pretty good. Smells like a nice little carrot. That's pretty neat. Look at there. So yes, that was probably premature. Uh, definitely gonna have to let them grow a little bit more. But that booger would grow. I can tell you right now. When we get ready to do them, we'll get we'll get that little trenching shovel I got. Put it right here, stick it down in there and loosen that soil back a little bit and just loosen it up a little bit before we pull some more. But we'll save that. That'll be good food. Let's uh get us to the goats. Alright, we're back in the shed. Keep our little carrot here, wash it up, put it in the refrigerator. Um, appreciate everybody watching. Had an ideal. So we were talking about subscribers, and again, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, when you hadn't made a video in a couple of days, just like everything else, seems like you kind of got to get your mind back into making a video before you start talking, but it's hard to do that unless you just got to do it. And I try not to do, I don't know if you guys have probably noticed, I try, I don't, everything I say on camera and do on camera. I haven't rehearsed nothing in my mind and it may show, I don't know. But I try not to do that. I, I don't wanna be, you know, well, I'm gonna cultivate these beans first and I'm gonna, you know, do it all from the left side to feel or something or, you know, I, I don't do any of that, guys. I, I just uh, I try to be as spontaneous and natural as it was gonna be is if nobody was recording nothing. So having said that about the subscribers, again, thank you so much. My thought is here pretty soon to do a live. I need to make a phone call to someone that I'm working with and ask about some hats and t-shirts. And what I thought we could do is do a live stream and just, we hadn't done one in a month or so. And in celebration of over 10,000 subscribers, and we'll give away some hats, um, maybe maybe a few t-shirts, give away some t-shirts. And I told Lino how we could do it, is, and I've seen this done. Again, Danny at Deep South does this. We can ask the question, maybe something pertaining to the channel, you know, some, not something that, you know, you guys wouldn't know, like, you know, how old am I or something, which, by the way, I'm 51. I, I, don't, <laughs> I don't mind saying that. I won't ask that question. Um, but we'll ask something pertaining to the channel, what you guys have seen. And the first person that gives us an answer and get a hat or whatever it is, we're giving away at the time. And uh, we'll just celebrate it right there and just the thanks for, for that. So with that said, um, probably a short video. We'll get cranked up. It's raining now, which uh, thank the Lord we need it. We need it bad. Clean the shed up, guys. Finally got had a little time after work one day and we spent a little time trying to rearrange a few things and clean the shed up a little bit and then Sammy's been keeping he's been keeping the shed swept out and uh, I don't you guys ever you know look at some history books and stuff you'll know that back in the 1800s and probably some in the early 1900s they had dirt floors in cabins and you swept it by raking the floor is how you you swept it and that's what sammy's been doing he's been raking the floor out but god bless you have a good week have a good day god loves you we'll see you